Greetings, friends. And welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. Yeah, let me see what Yusuke gave us texting us about. Kawanabe. Do you remember the man named Kawanabe? He is a gentleman. Oh, <laughs> he's a gentleman who suddenly offered to assist me when we went to visit Madarame's residence. I have actually been contacted by him again. It seems he wishes to discuss in more detail. However, I am somewhat hesitant to do this alone. Do you have any plans, Paul, for could you accompany me? Um. I'm going to just double check. I checked before we started the episode. I'm pretty sure he's the only one who wants to hang out mm -hmm. currently. Yep. Summer of Yusuke. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hmm. All we have to do now is wait. What a nerve-wracking time. Ah, uh, he's saying the same Saving thing again. Same thing. <laughs> Hmm, <laughs> you must have a wealth of free time. Do you remember a director Kawanabe of the Japanese Art Support Foundation? That couple just, like, appeared right next to us. <laughs> the man who offered his support to me at Madarame's house. I would like your assistance with him. Do you have time to spare? Yes. So what's your call? You want to spend time with Yusuke? Yes. Thank you. That would really help me out. I find it quite suspicious that he would offer money to a mere high school student like myself. I am grateful for his offer, but I am unsure of what to do. Uh... You should meet up with him. Indeed. Yeah, I must cling on to any semblance of hope I can find in this world. Mm. Very well, I will call him. He says he is willing to meet with me this very instant. I would appreciate it if you could join me, Paulford. Your presence could help ease my societal discomfort as well as diffuse the temptation of money. Furthermore, your composure will allow you to tell if he is truly attempting to scare me. Let us be off. Kabanabe-san is waiting for us at the sushi bar. I already told him that you will be coming, so let us go. Come, I've ordered your portion as well. Please eat freely. No. Before that, there is something I would like to ask. Just who are you? Hmm, an interesting question. My work involves gallery management, but my hobbies are diverse. The Foundation is but one of those hobbies. Broadly speaking, we're responsible for scouting and nurturing talented youth involving er, involved in the art world. We offer free scholarships, mediate study abroad programs, and we also connect young artists to customers. At a time, even Matarame participated in our organization. Sensei? I, I mean, Matarame? Indeed. A good many benefited from his time working with us. We were aware of the dark rumors about him, but we could never have seen his confession coming. I suppose it's likely he was deceiving us that whole time. <sighs> Matarame. To think I once relied on his teachings, called him my mentor. This is all because of him. It is his fault I can no longer view paintings with a pure heart. Hmm? In the past, simply the desire to paint led me to seek beauty, but now I find myself constantly weighed down by the search for awards or the praise of others. An ugly attachment has fastened itself upon my work. I can no longer paint how I used to. My art is tainted. I see. However, it would be wasteful to let your talent dry up. Our foundation would gladly support you. Not only a former student of the infamous Matarame, but someone with those looks, there's definitely a market for you. We'll sell you as the tragic, handsome artist. What do you mean? As he said, I am wondering the same thing. Exactly as it sounds. Having your ideas stolen by Matarame, losing a place to live, hungry for food, that unstable air about you makes for the perfect tragedy. A story like yours will sell even to those who don't understand art. A story? If you don't have one in the modern climate, nobody will even mention your name. Don't worry, we'll handle the details, but in return, you must sell your work through my gallery. We'll take a, me a mediation fee, but you'll be granted steady revenue and a nice customer base as well. Do not mock me. How foolish. Tragedy? Looks? Story? Those have nothing to do with art. <laughs> in the end, this is only about money, that which taints pure beauty. How immature. Excuse me? It seems you haven't learned anything after all. You're not looking at reality objectively. Is wealth really that horrible? And beyond that, how long will you continue to chase those illusions of yours? Purity? Art? I decline. Shut your mouth! I reject your offer! Hmm. I thought you of all people would have the resolve to use art to make a living. I have that resolve. However, I also believe such a life should only come via proper assessment. Hmm. In that case, I have an opportunity for you. My foundation will soon be holding a competition for young artists from around the nation. The prize shall be our support. We'll bring customers from around Japan to see the next great talent. 
There will be a great deal of pressure on you should you enter. Or perhaps are you too afraid? What did you say? What did you say? <laughs> I wonder if you have what it takes to withstand a skill-based assessment of that magnitude. I look forward to finding out. Now then, it seems there's no use in any further discussion. You can have them send the bill to my office. You are unforgivable. That avaricious bastard. Why is it that all artists talk about is money, money, money? Has the true meaning of art been lost? The truth is within you. Palford. Yes. You are correct. My passion can change the world. However, I would starve to death without money. Passion alone may fill my heart, but it cannot fill my stomach. What a troubling predicament. You have my thanks. Anyhow, I am quite glad that you chose to accompany me here. I may have bit my tongue off in anger had it only or had it been only me. In other words, you were a soothing force in my life. Sweet. What is this? Rank seven? Yeah, I think so. Sweet. Allows Yusuke to use card duplication and card creation on the spot. Cool. Okay. I I will partake in Kalanabe's exhibition. I'm going to display my ability and prove him wrong. Come, let us go home. Hmm. Actually, we should eat first. The sushi has done nothing wrong after all. <laughs> let us return home. Now then, let us head off. Paulford, I need a pep talk. Mm. It's good that I'm sitting in front of the canvas while my emotions are hot, but the lingering taste of sushi has me utterly distracted. Not only that, I allowed Kawanabe to pay for it all. I am tainted after all. I'm a petty sellout, a slave to the power of money. It's not a crime to enjoy sushi. <laughs> I suppose that sushi was truly delicious. It didn't list the price for some reason, but I can only imagine it was quite expensive. Certainly, sushi could be a form of art, when it's prepared with such care and artisanal craftsmanship. If I'm being honest, I still feel doubts about my work. I may end up embarrassing myself again, but even then, I must express myself. Your support in this world- your support in this would mean the world to me. Goodbye for now. World mean the wood to me. <laughs> Crosswords? No. There's never any crosswords. You're a natural, she <laughs> says. I thought it was a amateur. <laughs> and nobody in freaking Shinjuku wants to hang out. And oh my god. <laughs> so it's it's just a fubi, okay. <laughs> well I guess that makes it easier to pick who I'm hanging out with. Right. Since you're the only one available. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening, Tommy san. Her it's even hotter this summer. You have more aptitude for this than I imagined. I also sense an ambitious spirit within you. I should have taken into account your improvement throughout our lessons. I have something in mind, but let's play a match first. In fact, let's play right now. So what are you thinking? Do you want to hang out with Hifumi? Yes. Um... After we finish this match, let's go to a second-hand bookstore. Old books piled high at the specialty shops are truly a sight to behold. It All says right. that, but I'm pretty sure you can only buy, like, one, one. book there. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good match. I really do enjoy teaching you. You're such a quick learner. Today I thought we'd find you something to help you train on your own. This bookstore is filled with shogi-related books. I've been coming here a lot lately. There's also a curry restaurant just around the corner. I recommend their katsu curry. I always eat katsu curry before an important match, for good luck. Hifumi. Oh. Hello. I hope your match went well today. What are you talking about? Today's our day off. My apologies. I forgot that there aren't any matches scheduled for today. Out shopping with your boyfriend? <laughs> How nice for you. I shouldn't be surprised you are a famous shogi player after all. Well, I won't intrude. Bye. Sorry. She was only glaring at you because you're with me. She's my senior. I defeated her in a recent title match. Hmm. <laughs> Must have been the katsu curry. <laughs> Actually, yes, I did have katsu curry before that match. The truth is, I'm not very well liked by my seniors. The more attention I get, the more enemies I make, and the more lies are spread about me. Oh. Perhaps it's odd to compare myself to them, but I wonder if it's the same with the Phantom Thieves. 
People are so divided about them on the internet. Some love them, while others hate them. I can't help but see the similarities between us. What do you think about them? They're cool. I feel the same way, actually. It's amazing that they're still doing what they do, even though so many people criticize them. They give me courage. But their victories can't be won with will alone. How do they change a person's heart? I'm interested from a tactical standpoint and... Oh, I'm sorry. We really are quite off topic. I feel like I've become much more talkative as of late. I usually don't talk this much. You're more than just someone I can practice new moves with. You're someone I can confide I with. Um, if you don't mind this sort of thing, I'd like to go out and chat with you again. Yep, I'm the best listener in the world. <laughs> talk my ears off. All you want. Oh yes, there's a book that I'd love for you to read. Let's go. Until next time. Until our next match. Take care. Is it not gonna give us the book? No. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Thank you for accompanying me today. My intention was to show you how great Jimboko is, or Jimbocho, <laughs> but I ended up just talking about myself. My apologies. I was shocked, though. Ordinarily, I don't talk that much, I assure you. Perhaps it's because I never had friends at school who I could talk to about Shogi. I hope this won't discourage you from spending time with me. Really, I would be delighted to do, to do this again. I'd love to. Thank you. Other than used books and katsukuri, there are many things I'd like to recommend in that city. If you have the chance, perhaps we can explore more of the city next time. Well, I'm afraid I must go. I'll see you at the church. At least she gave us a bunch of friendship points this time. Right. <laughs> Who is it now? Hello. Do you have any free time today? I managed to get permission to practice in the school gym. I was thinking we could do some training inside. Does that sound okay? Respond later. <laughs> I'm extra proud of today's curry. You'd better savor it. Hey, hey. You got an invitation from someone. Want to go upstairs and reply once you finish eating? And I have to say, that curry the chief is so... That curry the chief is so proud of smells absolutely delicious. Sorry, that phrasing was kind of weird. Mm -hmm. well, then. Reminds me, home shopping zone today. Want to go check out the TV? You just told us to come upstairs. Yeah, now go back downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Drink set. Whoa, what the heck? 20 of each of those? But it's probably like 10 HP and 10 SP. Glass vase and a flower basket. Um, Let's see how expensive they both are. Oh, they're both cheap. Um, you think I should just get this one? Probably. I'm not sure who we give that to. Uh, it's like certain people. We certain people, when you hang out with them and the, you don't level them up, uh, it'll be like, oh, I think I have a gift that they might like, and then mm -hmm. you just get the chance to give them a gift. And if it's like, if it corresponds with that person's interests, you get like more friendship points. Mm -hmm. Um, although An would probably be the best one to give it to, and she's already maxed out. Yeah. So. Okay, Kasumi, it's time to hang out. Let's hang out with Kasumi. Yoshizawa. <laughs> Kasumi isn't responding. Sorry, my phone has been acting up. It just randomly shut off. It looks like it's okay now. See you. <laughs> uh, but do you want to get some food in the cafeteria first? I'll go ahead and grab us some seats first. I'll be waiting for you in the cafeteria, senpai. Yeah, sorry, my phone's acting up. It took me two seconds to respond this time instead of one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I called you here so suddenly. Since our talk, I've been trying to think of things beside gymnastics that I'm really invested in, and I figured something out. It's this! Making bento? Yes. Yeah, I can cook! <laughs> you really need to regulate your diet in gymnastics, so I've been making my own food a lot. And so, since I also wanted to thank you, I made you bento. So, anyway... This is actually my first time cooking for someone else besides my family, but I figured this would definitely help me get my confidence back. I made this specifically with your body type in mind, and knowing how much you exercise. Do you want it? I'm touched. <laughs> then I'm glad I put all that effort in. The chicken and eggs are to help you with fatigue. There are some beans in there too, and it's on brown rice. Weight control is important for gymnasts, but we also need to make sure we've got energy and stamina too, so high protein, low fat is usually what we go for. We also need iron to maintain stamina, and vitamin B for energy. I said efficiency. <laughs> Wait, I'm getting all focused on the gymnastics part again. <sighs> well, anyways. 
This looks good. Let's dig in. Is that all for you? <laughs> of course, I need every last grain of rice. Why do you look so skeptical, Tommy Senpai? I guess it might look like a lot, but this is actually a little less than my usual. Don't worry, I've done the math on the calories. I'll burn all this off at practice. So, come on, Senpai, you'll be done before you know it. This is... It's a familiar flavor, but it doesn't match the food. <laughs> I keep trying different parts, but it all tastes like the same thing. Something very familiar. Um. Tommy Senpai, you okay? Your eyes are glazing over. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Why do you sound like a robot? Maybe there's not enough flavor? I thought using too much would be bad for you. Hmm? Was it too light? Excuse me. Mmm, yeah, that's the flavor I was going for. I was trying to decide how to season these, and I figured everyone likes curry, right? So I decided to go for maximum curry flavoring. <laughs> I'm sorry, were you not a fan of that flavor? Or wait, maybe you prefer the super spicy ones. Is there a third option? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I did this all wrong. I'll go get some kind of condiment to change the flavor. Once I fix it, I'm sure you'll enjoy it more. Should I get mayonnaise? Soy sauce? Maybe miso? Do you think Dr. Maruki will have some salt? Calm down. <laughs> oh, you're right. I should just buy something new you can eat right now. I'm enjoying this. Um, but... Well, thank you. Now we should really eat. Thank you for the meal. Whew. That was delicious. Why did you thank me for the meal? Right. <laughs> thank you for completely finishing your meal, Tommy Senpai. I'm sorry it didn't turn out perfectly. I came up with the idea of making bento, but I couldn't decide on the flavor. Either way, I'm really sorry. I'm so embarrassed. I thought it was so great when I presented it to you, and now... Just keep at it. Yes. Right. When you fall, you've got to get back up. Next time, I'll ask you what you'd like before I try anything too crazy. I'll go buy that super spicy Mejido sauce for next time. <laughs> it seems like you're always helping me find my way forward, Senpai. If I didn't have you, I'd let my failures get to me and end up in some big pessimistic spiral again. Maybe this kind of confidence can help me figure out who I really am. That sounds right. Either way, I suppose all I can do is keep moving forward. Tommy Senpai, I hope we can keep helping each other improve. Rank up. I think this is rank three. Yeah, sweet. All right. Okay, now that we've gotten all our nutrients, it's time for the next phase. I don't mean to be too demanding, but I'm going to train you even harder than before. Make sure you keep up. We went to the gymnasium, trained ourselves, and now I get, right. yes, five extra HP. Oh, guess we're out of time. time. I guess we'll end it here for today. Hope we can do this again sometime. Ah, you're back. No crossword. Hmm. <laughs> Chahaya wants to hang out, but she's not going to level up. Yeah, she's the only one. All right, Chahaya. First I'll say Chahaya, and then I'll say Chibaya. <laughs> I sense that you have trouble with women. Hmm. There was a woman last time, too. Wait, is that... Anyway, please be careful. Well, then, what would you like to do today? What? Verification test. Please take a seat. What are you going to do? Hang out with her. Yes. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Chaya looks mystified. I'll go along with her readings until she's satisfied. Our bond will grow stronger soon. Goodbye. Well then, see you. Yeah, I freaking hope so. Mm -hmm. Can't wait until she's rank five. <sighs> uh, who could it be at this hour? I want to go look for a book. There's something I'm curious about. I'm going to Booktown in Jimboku. Jimbocho. <laughs> <laughs> Can you make some time since it's summer vacation? I'd like you to help me look for it. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna go because I'm not charming enough for her. Right. I can just go shop by myself and not waste the afternoon. <laughs> Damn, hot. it's hot. <laughs> That's all you gotta say? Cool. Um. 
Well, if no one wants to hang out, ah, <laughs> no one wants to hang out. Damn. Yeah, I, I might as well just go with Makoto, but she's not gonna freaking rank up. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, not this way. Secondhand shop. This way. Welcome. Give me that retro game set. Gambler Goemon. Oh my god, we have 63 tin clasps. <laughs> cool. Alright, let me see. Makoto, Booktown. Yeah, let's go. Come on, let's freaking go, Makoto. <laughs> I'm actually thinking about looking into cognitive science. I'll give you the details later. Let's meet up. Futaba's mother's research. We shouldn't make Makoto wait. Let's head out. Right now! <laughs> Excuse me. I'm interested in cognitive science, the field Futaba's mother was researching. I doubt we'll find any public information, but maybe an older academic journal may mention it. Let's get cracking. Thank you, I do hope we find something. I want to learn more about cognitive science while we wait for Futaba to regain her strength. If only we could understand it more in depth, maybe we could solve the mystery of the metaverse. It would make traversing it easier for us, too. Oh. Oh. Um, hello. Um, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, please wait. Was there something you wanted to say to him? Oh no, nothing in particular. I was just surprised to see him here. I didn't mean to intrude between you two. Um... No need to be so considerate. He's just carrying my books for me. Is she a friend of yours? She's my shogi master. Uh, master is a bit of an overstatement. We just play shogi together. Is she the professional shogi player you had mentioned before, the master strategist? I see. I admit I only know the rules, but I'm intrigued to learn how a professional shogi player thinks. Is that a book on shogi tactics? Oh yes, I came here to purchase old shogi strategy books from time to time. Pardon me for asking. Could you teach me some strategies? I believe this knowledge would benefit me greatly in the future. Oh sure, if you'd like. Well, if it's about shogi then. To attack, you'll need to be creative with your approach and sacrifice pieces with no remorse. So, plan on enticing your opponent to focus on your sacrificial pieces so you can advance a counterattack? Yes. Yes, you seem to have a talent for this. Another strategy I enjoy is to use bait pieces to draw your opponent to your side of the board. Hmm, I see. That way you can surround them and... Uh... You two are hitting it off, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. What she was saying was so interesting, I lost track of time. I'll catch up with you later. Could you look for the book we had discussed earlier? So, nothing promising, Shall huh? We home? I think we should go home for today. No books! Nothing promising, you just made a new friend. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah but she's nothing promising. Yeah, nothing promising. <laughs> Forget Shogi. One week left until Medjed's attack. I wonder what's going to happen. Didn't they say they would confiscate our possessions? We have nothing to do with this. Why is this happening to us? How will the Phantom Thieves take responsibility for this? Man, it's hot. Another scorcher. Can't we catch a break? Only oh. one more week until the deadline. Hey, you see the forum? Yeah, people have been telling us to hurry up and protect the civilians. They're just saying whatever they want with no regard for the consequences. God, I seriously can't believe they're going on about all that. By the way, how's Futaba? At this point, we are desperate for her assistance. She definitely mentioned Medjed back in the palace. I'd like to believe she's planning something. Even Makoto's gone over to the wait-and-see dark side. We don't have much time left. I know it's frustrating, but there's not much we can do. Yo, another, another box, box came for you. Hey. Give me that shit. Flat face flower basket. Oh. A crossword? No. Mm. Of course not. Why would there ever be one? <laughs> Mishima. Mm. Alright, Mishima. Just wanted to make sure no one else was texting. Mm -hmm. hey. Oh, Tomley. Oh, right. Do you think we can talk about last time again? So what you'll do, are you going to talk with Mishima? Thanks. Thanks for your concern. I want to go somewhere I can talk to you alone. How does the park sound? <sighs> hey.
Hey, um, I've been thinking a little bit about Akiyama-kun. Let's cancel the request. <laughs> Huh? Well, actually, I, I was just going to say the same thing. I mean, going after him wouldn't even help you guys get famous. It'd be practically pointless. Stop worrying about fame. <laughs> Wait, how'd you know about that? Because it, it's all you talk right. about. <laughs> oh, I get it. Of course a thief who steals hearts would see what's going on in the depths of my psyche. You know, I first started the fan site so I could spread your message of justice to the world, but before I knew it, the only reason I wanted to help you guys was so I could get famous myself. Though maybe that's always been the real reason. <sighs> I don't know. I thought I was doing it out of respect for you guys. Yet, deep down, I think I really just wanted to show the world I'm more than some stupid zero. Look where that got me, though. I'm just a selfish loser clinging desperately to your popularity. I don't deserve to work alongside the valiant phantom thieves. Well, thanks for everything, bye! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Man, I totally ate dirt. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I can't even run away right. Uh, working alongside the Phantom Thieves has made me feel like I myself can change the world, but it's only ever been you guys. I'm still just as powerless as always. That's the truth. <laughs> I wonder if there's really any way a pathetic guy like me can help you. Maybe the fan site? Mm -hmm. That's it! <laughs> My special power lies in running the fan site! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you've been doing this whole time. For real? I don't want it to be about public relations anymore, though. First and foremost, that site needs to be a safe haven for people in serious trouble. After all that happened to me with Kamashita, I know how hard it can be to speak out against injustice. So, as long as there are voices crying out to the Phantom Thieves, I'm gonna help them be heard. Sweet. What are you, rank 8? Rank 9? 7. Mm. Oh, okay. Greatly increases EXP earned from right. battle. Sweet. At any rate, we should just forget about going after Akiyama-kun, okay? I'm still worried about some of the rumors I've heard about him, but I'll do some more research. By the way, he's not a bad guy, or not as bad a guy as he pretends to be. Apparently, he's super sweet to his <laughs> girlfriend. Can you imagine that? They've been talking about getting married even since back in middle school. I'm honestly kind of jealous. Well, see you later. Anyway, see you later. Oh, Tomley? That thing I mentioned about Akiyama-kun turned out to be true. It wasn't just some rumor. I found a post on the fan site by a girl who I assume is Akiyama-kun's girlfriend. It says she's worried because her boyfriend's been hanging out with some sketchy guys, acting strange too. It seems like enough evidence to make him a target, but I'm going to look into this a little further, just to be safe. Be careful. Yep, I know. But we can't ignore any cry for help on the fan site. <laughs> Even I didn't realize the fan site meant this much to me. Thanks, Tomley, for helping me get here. <laughs> okay, let's keep up the good work. Bye. Yeah, I think you're like the only one who cares about the fan site. Literally, no one else talks about it, and you don't shut up about it. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to hang out today? Yusuke? Yusuke again. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hang out with him and then I'll probably call it um, when it goes to nighttime. Mm -hmm. Blah, blah, Same blah. Stuff. Same as last time. <laughs> I'm still mulling over what Kawanabe said to me. That reminds me, I would like to speak with you and the others. Do you have some free time today? Yes. What's your call? Gonna hang out. Indeed. I would like other opinions as well. I shall send out an invite and see who has time to meet. I wish to do so at LeBlanc, if that's okay with you. LeBlanc. LeBlanc. <laughs> Sorry. My apologies for calling all of you here like this. Boss was even kind enough to serve us coffee before he went shopping. Now, I have a vital request. Hey! Hit me with your best shot. All the tough problems are gonna have to go to Paul for it, though. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm, I can help with any subject that's not math. Hmm? Do you two honestly believe I would ask you here for help in my studies? Tell the, truth. the truth is, I am planning to display my work in a competition. The one organized by Kawanabe of the Japanese Art Support Foundation. You remember, yes, Paulford? I must win and prove not only my ability, but my intense passion for art as well. However, I am having quite a bit of trouble determining what my next subject should be. 
I have given this painting a fair amount of thought, but nothing has come to me yet. Hence, I was hoping to hear your opinions on an ideal subject. Oh, yeah. How about you have an... Or how about you have on strip? Mm. <laughs> Wait. How long are you going to keep bringing that up? Anyway, maybe you should paint something people find pretty. Hmm. hmm. So in the end, we return to the concept of beauty. Paulford, what subject do you think would most capture beauty? <laughs> <laughs> it has to be on. <laughs> Either that or scenery is nice, but yeah. I, it has to be on. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I suppose she is a subject I put great focus on in the past. But now I am aware of her true personality. I am not sure I could paint her beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, wait, what's that supposed to mean? <sighs> Why can I not paint a beauty as pure as the Sayuri? Where have all my efforts gone? You know, I'm not really sure what you mean by pure beauty. I mean, yeah, it's a pretty painting. But I'm not sure I really consider it a pure beauty or whatever. Huh? Huh? I don't know. I guess it just feels more gentle to me. Honestly, I almost cried the first time I saw the Sayuri. It felt kind of like I was a baby again in my mother's arms. Watching over me, telling me everything's going to be okay. That was the gentleness that painting made me feel. <laughs> this is coming from someone with absolutely no art knowledge, though. I see. Gentleness? That is yet another aspect the Sayuri captured that I cannot. Is my heart too clouded? No way, man. It ain't cloudy, dude. Are you sure about that? Painting used to be all my heart desired. I needed nothing else in life, but now... What now? I have become overwhelmed with the need to prove myself to Kawanabe, to prove myself to the world. I look down on Madarame for focusing so sharply on fame and money, yet I too yearn for the praise of others. In truth, oftentimes I regret declining Kawanabe's offer. This is this what pure passion is supposed to look like? My heart is clouded by worldly desires. You've really grown, Yus uh, Yusuke. I almost called him Yosuke. <laughs> what, my ugliness has helped me grow? Yep. Alfred's right, dude. Ain't nothing wrong about doing your best to make a living. Yeah. And you just want someone to acknowledge your work, right? That's some serious passion. But how can passion be born from these repulsive thoughts? You think? Listen here. Dude, I was totally like you back on the track team. I just wanted to prove myself to win to get all the girls to call me shit like Sakamoto Senpai. But you know, even through all that, I was trying to help my team out. Sure, it's a solo sport, but nobody's gonna run till they puke if they don't got teammates they want to inspire. I guess what I really want to say is you gotta do stuff for your people beyond just yourself if you want to succeed. I see. Hmm, is that how it is? So the sincere gentleness held within the Sayori, the warmth of its heart, it was all for the sake of those who gaze upon it? How interesting. So that's what ah, I see! Whoa. Well, what do you see? I have been a fool. Beauty is not the superficial thing I have long thought it to be. It is something that wells up within the heart until it breaks free. It is a gift given by a subject unto its viewer. Yes, I finally see that's the truth. The three of you have my sincerest gratitude. You have been a truly tremendous aid. Uh, yeah. how exactly? <laughs> we somehow managed to help you skate. <laughs> Sweet rank eight. All right. It's really leveled up over the past few videos. I think it was like rank three yeah. when we started this recording session. <laughs> yes, the time has come for my brush to meet canvas in beautiful harmony. If you'll excuse me. Man, he's acting even weirder than normal. He looked pretty inspired though, so he'll be fine, right? Anyway, are you guys hungry? I might ask boss to make me something once he gets back. Hmm, maybe curry this time. Come as opposed on. to all the other times. <laughs> God, you eat so freaking much. Oh yeah, and what was that crap about being good at everything except math? It ain't nice to lie, you know. No. <laughs> I wasn't lying. It's just really hard to get good grades at Sujin. If you're not getting good grades, you should have let Yusuke, you should have known Yusuke wasn't gonna ask you to study with him. <laughs> On Ryuji and I enjoyed the rest of our time together. It's getting late. I should probably take them to the train station so they don't get lost. <laughs> <laughs> Even though they've lived here longer than me. <laughs> Man, it's another scorcher. Can't we catch a break? 
Well, at least it's not pouring down rain. Right. Cool, and those two have... Let me see if they're gonna level up, and then we can plan accordingly next time. Jahaya did. Jahaya and Hifumi, yeah. but Jahaya is the one we want, so we'll probably do that next time. But thank you guys so much for watching today, and we hope you'll join us next time. Bye-bye. Have a good one.